Business owners, their employees, and anyone who uses city streets are being given the opportunity to participate in a survey about ways La Crosse can improve its parking. We tried our best to set our clocks for that two hour mark to move our cars, but it, you know, if we're over with a customer on the phone, we're, uh, we're getting nailed, guaranteed. Tony Rossa, a downtown business owner near Market Square, says he and his employees constantly have to move street by street to avoid getting tickets. I get the two hour parking. Um, I think it should be a little more, uh, maybe even four, three hours, four hours, specifically for for people that are working downtown. Dave Burr, a parking consultant, was hired to host the open house discussion on parking. In which neighborhood do you live in? Uh, downtown. It really helps our understanding as we formulate our recommendations. Burr says there isn't really a one-size-fits-all answer regarding parking obstacles. The parking and transportation is changing. Um, you know, it's, you know, there's, there's talk of the, the uh, self-driving cars and that. I mean, that's coming, but it's not coming tomorrow. And so you have to accommodate parking until you have those opportunities. Whether you live on the north or south side of La Crosse, maybe even closer to downtown or by the university, residents say they have come across parking challenges just about everywhere in the city. I hope they can find a way to, to get us a spot in that, in that ramp uh, on that first level would be ideal for us. We're more than willing to pay the, the permit cost. Otherwise, I'm not exactly sure what we do. It'd even get to the point where we might even look at moving locations. Art Fade, director for the La Crosse Center, says when guest and trade show vendors come to town, parking ramps get filled up. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of activity, a lot of movement in the downtown area that vehicles are moving around our building and looking for a place to park. Fay hopes no parking designated areas will always be available so they can be used for loading zones for vendors. Parking is obviously a discussion and where it's going to go in the next 10, 20 years. You know, it's going to be interesting and, uh, you know, we're, we're part of it as we build a new lacrosse center. In lacrosse, Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19.